Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. In front of us we have a 2020 Airstream. It is an Atlas, the Tommy Bahama edition, the Relax edition uh, with the Murphy Suite, Murphy bed. This is a one owner, has 4,783 miles on it. I just have it all buttoned up and running. So we'll just kind of go through it as you would if you just got to your destination. Also gonna be going through showing you what great shape it is uh, interior and on the exterior. Like I said, only 4,000 miles, 4,783. But the beautiful thing about this one, it's been uh, just garage kept in its own unit just directly across us. There's a bunch of storage condos, privately owned, and this has been sitting in one of those. So it hasn't been outside other than the nights it was out on adventure. But winters, summers, it's had its own climate controlled uh, spot with just this in it. So there is no scratches as far as any sort of storage scratches, people leaning bikes up against it or in a small space. So I'll just kind of loop through this and we'll open it up. But it really is like new. Just gorgeous throughout. And that is powered by uh, a Mercedes-Benz clean diesel. So it's in here running in a closed area. Not the smartest thing, but I can't even smell the diesel. So that is the uh, six cylinder 3.0 Mercedes modern diesel engine that is turbocharged. Beautiful thing about this is that it's super easy to drive. It's sitting on the Mercedes Benz chassis, 3500, dual rear wheels. So easy to, easy to drive, easy to own and operate. And it is slightly larger than your typical Sprinter van which you feel that difference in the interior and also has that sweet slide out. So let's get in there and take a look. The steps just come sliding out. And that's your main power right there. And then we can put our step hold on so when you're in camp mode, you want to go shut the door and your stairs aren't going to disappear on you every time you open or shut the doors. You've got a couple of these throughout the cabin where you can do lights, you can do the master on, or you've got all kinds of individuals, even under carriage lights if you want. So you can light it all up that way. Your slide control is over here. There's another access panel and there's one in the bathroom as well for lights. Oh. Sorry, we're in this box for the slide out. And this just gives you so much more room in the interior. And that's fully out. Bring our awning out. Everything's touch screen so you can see your, your tanks, all your controls, heating, etc., all through here. So take a look at the exterior, slide out. just that extra 
foot and a half, two feet makes a world of difference. You can have those awning lights on or off. They don't come on automatically. So you can throw some chairs out here, have a nice time. Handle lighting, so if you go for a walk at night, you can see where you're going to, your undercarriage lights. But as you step in here, the saying for these, pardon me for my preparation, my pillow is upside down. You do have seat belts here as well on the sofa. Uh, the, uh, the saying goes, uh, cocktails for six, dinner for four, sleeps two. So you do have a full kitchen. Got the sink under there, nice size sink. Creates more cabinet area with that insert. Clever little spot for your garbage can. Lights all with screens. Two burner stove. Lots of storage throughout. Refrigerator, freezer, and convection oven. This little storage spot for so I was just reading a text from my daughter that's coming in. Wine or whiskey in there. This is your TV. I wonder, I know that's, I just used it the other day. I wonder if there's some sort of safety with the engine running, something like that. So I'll figure that out. Sorry, that's for my coffee this morning. I'll wipe that smudge off. Poor prep wear, but great quality. I mean, it's Airstream quality throughout. Massive bathroom, well lit. It's a shower you could actually jump in and use. I'm six foot and they're still about five inches above my head as I jump in the shower. Shower toilet, you got a lockout so things aren't sliding around. Lots of storage. Deep cabinets go all the way back. Lights in there. Smells gorgeous when you open that up. Beautiful cedar. And then the bed. Look at that cabin layout. Beautiful seats, as you can imagine. 3,000 miles. No damage on those. And then Murphy bed, you just take off these two cushions. And as I showed in the photos, you can extend, oops, wrong button, your foot rest, and that's on both ends. Power slide on the bed. That just gets it flat. And then the Murphy bed comes down. Really supportive. This just folds flat so things aren't dropping towards the end there. So when it's time for bed, it's that easy to convert this into your sleeping area. So that's the way you get so much room with a full, full usable bath, full kitchen, and a Class B motor home. And then it's just a reverse for that. Just flip this up. You gotta flip that over and then just redo uh, your steps in the opposite direction. So the only thing that I just don't know is, and that TV works, is the TV rises out of that case. So you've got your lounging area, and I know that works. There may just be some sort of
Maybe that was it. Or I wasn't holding the button right. So maybe that is a safety switch where the car is on. We got a couple lights right there for reading for bedtime. I guess I am going the whole distance here. So you can leave your bed made, bed sheets in there. And it's just that easy to flip it back up, put your pillows down, kick your foot rest out, have a cold beverage. A couple different table placements. I'm not gonna pull out the table and show you, but you got two legs and tabletop to, to use how you want, so. I was flipping too many buttons, but you do have that lockout so you don't uh, pop out of your camper in the middle of the night and not have steps. So I've got that in place right now. Oh, I didn't do that. All right, you can tell it's Friday night, pushing six o'clock. <laughs> I'm gonna prove that this works. You can tell there's no editing in my videos. I just shoot and go through. Voila. Hey, so gorgeous, gorgeous RV. I've got kids heading into college. One still in high school. So this is uh, not me, but I would I'd love it. Count me in for camping or glamping, if you will. So Shep here, Sun Valley Auto Club, 208-721-1973. I won't be buying this one. <laughs> That one's a solid maybe, but we'll be buying this one. So give me a shout if you want this uh, for your adventures. All you have to do is give me a call, 208-721-1973.